our channel, I'm Rachel. I'm Nikki and we're the Stitch Sisters. So this is video number two, all about tops. And we're talking you through all of the patterns that we found which relate to all the trends that we're seeing for awesome winter in the shops. Yeah, so they're like our autumn winter pattern picks. Pattern picks, pattern yes. Pattern picks. <laughs> So this video is all about tops, yes. but still to come, we have got trousers, skirts, and mm -hmm. coats and jackets. Yes, so there's we have. loads more to come. <laughs> so before we go any further, if you're new to our channel, then hello and welcome. Uh, we'd love to have you here. We do videos all about fashion and sewing and style. So if you like that kind of thing, Go and check out our playlist, see what we've got there, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you didn't know it, we also teach online sewing classes. Oh, yes, we do. So if you're interested in more information on that, head over to our website, which is www.thestitchsisters.co.uk. <laughs> so let's get cracking. Okay, wow. so first up, we have a pattern from New Look, and mm -hmm. this one is very much part of, well, it could be several different trends, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this is New Look 6528, and I think it ticks the box for 90s for grunge for victoriana mm -hmm. um for gothic. gothic so i mean a black lace top you could do mm -hmm. all sorts of different ways really um the thing we we like about it is because obviously any top you could sew up in a lace and it could become a top but often when you're following a commercial pattern mm -hmm. having somebody giving you instructions for lace because the pattern was designed for lace just it's means easier. that you get a few tips and tricks along mm -hmm. the way for how best to stabilize your fabric and how best to sew it yes um, but also so it means that the cut is designed to work with that kind of fabric. Mm -hmm. um, they've tested it and so you can quite safely go yeah. ahead and, and use it. Um, you've got a couple of different sleeve options here. So uh -huh. you've got a short roughly one, you've got a sort of a mid-length roughly one. I think it's just a short plain one as well. So that C is the actual lace uh -huh. edge. And then you've got a long sleeved one with ruffles on the end. So there's quite a lot of options within one pattern. Yes, and with the lace one, it looks like they've used the edge of the lace so you can see that they've left mm. the lace flowers intact so you yeah. want something that's got a scalloped edge that yeah. isn't a, uh, a straight edge necessarily mm -hmm. and if you want to create that kind of look mm -hmm. um, but we really really like that yeah. um, and if you wanted to follow the kind of goth grunge trend then imagine it with a little tartan mini skirt mm -hmm. if you wanted to follow the Victoriana trend you'd mm -hmm. maybe wear it with a pair of high-waisted skinnies yeah. and some black Victorian boots oh. mm -hmm. so this next one one is one that's from uh, last year it's simplicity 90th anniversary pattern and we just like this one because it's a very simple wearable oversized top mm -hmm. so there are a lot of oversized sweatshirts and jumpers and stuff in the shops at the moment mm -hmm. um, and what we like about this one is that you could sew it up in a sweatshirt or you could use some sort of sweater knit um, or you could even use the pattern pieces to resize a, a secondhand jumper or yeah. something if you'd bought one from a charity shop or you thrifted it um, but we just think that having that kind of oversized um, top is really mm -hmm. handy, especially when it gets colder, but it's mm -hmm. still got quite a young, cool yep. look to the it's, cut of it. It's from Soul House 7. Oh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Ah, there you go. So this is probably a variation of the toaster sweater, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, it, it reminded me of the toaster, mm. but so definitely. Is, is it raglan? Because No, it's not, because the toaster is raglan. The toaster's so raglan. It's so it's not raglan, but it's got it's sort of side splits and, and various different sort of options. So next <laughs> up, you're going to see a few of this style, but that's just because we have seen them everywhere. Everywhere you go, you, there are blouses. Blouses are huge at the moment, and blouses with neck details, whether that's a pussy bow whether that's a ruffle and blouses with sleeve details so whether that's a flounce mm -hmm. or a puff sleeve or you know a cuff or whatever there's lots and lots of details so this first one from butter is b6487 what we particularly like about this one is view d where it has the little ruffle victorian style collar so we saw that in a lot of places yeah um and uh, so that's really on trend at the moment and then to have that kind of gathered neck was a big thing in the 70s mm. so it kind of ticks that box as well mm. so with a gathers come into that funnel net yeah the other view we really like is c so that also has the puff sleeve with the cuff um but we really like the lace cutouts on the shoulders there yes and it'd be really nice to play around with i, I can imagine it in sort of a plain black and you've got slightly mm. sheer georgette or something for mm. the main body of the um blouse and then you've got black lace cutouts yeah. on the shoulders so that could be I really like it fun in the, in the satin as well so satin blouses are everywhere in the shops 
So giving you that bit of a luxe edge to most of the things. It's, yes. It's nice. And I like the fit of it because it's a looser fit, but mm -hmm. it's not massive. It's not oversized. No. So I think it will skim nicely, but it's not restrictive in any way. Yeah. You've also got another couple of sleeve options there as well. So you can play around with that. You can indeed. <laughs> So next up is McCall's 7811 and this is a cotton shirt basically mm -hmm. um, but we fell in love with this because again it's all about the sleeves, sleeves the sleeves and the ruffles yeah. um, so I think it's a very wearable uh, shirt so A is your basic structure of the shirt mm -hmm. and then they're adding extra bits to it so you've got the different kind of the bell sleeves that are yeah. on sort of uh, view C you've got this massive big yoked ruffle at mm -hmm. the front on view B and then is there a different one is that D is different it's just got the one kind of extra ruffle at the bottom of the yeah. shirt that one's got a collar as well, well I think D the only reason why it's a separate view is because they've done it in stripes and they've had mm. the stripes going in different directions and that just means that there will be specific instructions for if you are making a stripe version yes so when you look at those kind of patterns and you think have they made the stripes do that that mm. looks like it's a head scratcher if there's a different view for it then chances are you'll get detailed instructions on how to do that or yeah. the grain lines or something will be in terms of the pattern layout will be very it's clearly explained yes. yes so yeah it is the sleeve and the ruffle details that we like mm. and you're going to see that on several patterns <laughs> so there's two sleeve variations that we particularly like here so we love you see with the huge mm -hmm. drop shoulder but well it's not a drop shoulder because it is a set in sleeve but it's a, a straight sleeve and to till kind of midway up the arm and then it gathers into this full sleeve and then it has this extra long cuff yes so it's really full and I just absolutely love that the other thing I love about it is the collar that we've seen a lot on the catwalk especially from Victoria Beckham yeah. um, so that look layered with argyle jumpers um, or mm -hmm. any kind of close fitting jumper is really really big at the moment and I definitely am making this shirt <laughs> and I also love view B because again um as we mentioned on one of the dresses in the previous video, it's got that leg of mutton um, mm. sleeve on it. And um, and again, that's another big look, mm. kind of ticks the Victoriana sort of trend. Yes. Um, and uh, um, is a really, really nice option. It's a good length, that one as well, isn't mm -hmm. it? So the one that's in the picture, I mean, it's coming right the way down past her waist. So this is a more of a long line shirt. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you B is, is shorter, so you've obviously yeah. got both lengths there. Mm -hmm. But I like shirts that give you, the, give you options for different lengths. Yeah. Well. Yeah, absolutely and, and it is definitely I mean it was last year as well this time last mm. year and, and actually all through, through spring and summer as well but yeah. statement sleeves are here to stay they're going to be yeah. here for a while so as far as I'm concerned the more patterns that offer those kind of options yeah. the better absolutely <laughs> So next up is McCall's M7868 mm -hmm. and this is another version of kind of a pussy ball blouse. So it's a softer, more of a blouse than a shirt. So yeah. blouses I often think as softer, more silky fabrics, more satins, whereas shirts are more sort of button up and stiffer. Um, and this one, we love the sleeves on this as well, but we like the different neckline options mm -hmm. we've got. I like the pussy ball in view B. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the kind of the stand up uh, sort of turtleneck. Yeah. Yeah. gathering around the collar again and which is really nice mm. so um, you've also got the option um, in the one that she's got on the model's got on view D so there's a little cut out little keyhole at the front there um, but it also has some mm. cinching in at the waist it looks like shearing could be an elastic channel yeah but if you prefer to have more fitted things or if you think you might wear it tucked into something mm. um, or you want to wear a belt on top of it then obviously that will make the whole thing a lot easier yeah so that's another really nice option no another one this one is the jersey so this is another it's all about the ruffles ruffles and sleeves mm -hmm. again but we're back to sweatshirts we're back yes. to comfort and this is McCall's 7869 mm-hmm and we like this because of the extra details i think underneath all of that yeah you've probably got a very good basic sweatshirt yeah um but they've just added a few extra bells and whistles to go along uh -huh. with it so you've got these kind of uh, in view a you've got the ruffle around the, the the deep v coming down the front so you've got the ruffle coming around there mm -hmm. so it's very similar to the sweatshirts that we created when we did our yeah. diy color well, they're copying us. Um, <laughs> i think we were copying other people <laughs> because <laughs> we've been seeing them everywhere, everywhere yeah. in the shops and stuff and um, but I think that 
what we showed you to do is take an existing sweatshirt pattern and yeah. how to actually hack it to add in that detail whereas with this you're going to have two separate pattern pieces already yes um, and that does give you that option to add in the little ruffle and everything else obviously yeah. if you're if it's the ruffle that you like and you're thinking of making view a or view b you'd want a lighter weight jersey or sweater mm -hmm. in it because you want something that's got some drape in it yes um but this is really fun for color blocking so yeah, if you yeah. imagine that you had like the base of the sweatshirt in one color and then you had the little triangle bit in another uh -huh. and then the flounce in a third yes um and again we've seen a lot more of that still in the shops mm. right now this next one <laughs> is taking the victoriana gothic uh trend to the extreme but it's very much like a blouse that you tried on in zara isn't yes that white it one? is yeah um, but we love all of the details on this one now this is one of those where you if you're going to make it you're putting a lot of time and effort into a shirt there's a yeah. lot of love gone into there mm. because not only are there lots of frills and flounces but there's lots of pin tucks there's lots of different details being sewn in there's ribbon being sewn into different channels it's a labor so of love it is a labor of love but i think it's such a classic piece that you would yeah. have it forever i think a very good basic white long sleeve shirt like this yeah i think you would definitely get a lot of wear out yeah of. now this pattern does also include these amazing utility dungarees so again mm -hmm. there's so many details on here um so it's got a zip up but it's also got a waist and then it's got these amazing car pockets. cargo pockets yeah. on the front yeah. thing. um but it's a very modern take on it so it i think if you're looking for overalls or dungarees that are very different to anything you've seen anywhere else yeah also if you like this pattern if you like the look of this pattern the trousers which are the flares on the left hand side uh, is actually a separate pattern mm -hmm. but we do mention that one in our trousers we so do, come yes. back and revisit that yes and we <laughs> love those we trousers. love them too yes. <laughs> so the next one that we have for you is a simplicity pattern it is quite similar to some of the other ones that we've shown you but mm -hmm. we wanted to show you what all of them had to offer uh, what we particularly like about this one is the little keyhole we love the folded pleats either side at the mm -hmm. neck we love the proportions of the sleeve i mean specifically view b is my favorite on this one because yeah. i love the neckline and the sleeve color combo um, but you've got a few variations there but you've also got a variation for shearing or a waist belt being added uh, a wide one and again yeah. that's great for people that like the detail at the neck and the sleeve but they want a more fitted silhouette yes or people who like a peplum if you like that longer length mm -hmm. then this is a really good one and that's why we included it because it gives you that other option as well so. yeah I do like if you see actually yeah I think it'd be nice in a if you made it in a really fancy fabric if it yeah. was in a silk or something mm -hmm. like that and it was a top for going out in and you teamed it with a leather skirt a pair of leather yeah. trousers or something like that I think it looks stunning next V is 9029 now this is one where you have to look past the image and just although it's not a bad image it's just no. that it's quite busy and you can't really see what's going on but what we love about this pattern is all the different variations and you have to study the line drawings yeah. to be able to see those subtleties um, so a view A whilst it has that quite sharp collar which again you could possibly use to get that victory Victoria Beckham look but you mm -hmm. could also extend it slightly if you wanted to um, but view A has this really interesting lace uh, or, or frill um, either side mm -hmm. of the cuff so there's a frill at the bottom of the cuff and then where the cuff meets the sleeve so that's a nice interesting detail that we've not seen anywhere else view D has this amazing sort of neck flounce you know the bib that you get that goes right down the front so yeah view D's got that kind of what you call an Austin Powers kind of yeah yeah the, front, it, the sort of thing you would have worn with an old-fashioned tuxedo it, it's a new romantic kind very, of shirt very so, much yes. new romantic although I think this one's slightly more on the subtle side mm. and then the other one that I love on there is view F so that's the mm -hmm. pussy bow um, and it's a nice big bow and yes. I think that's what you want if you're looking for a statement shirt. oh yeah and then another Vogue one we've got Vogue V9285 mm -hmm. and again this is all about the sleeve <laughs> <laughs> we've got that neck band again with the little turtleneck with everything gathered in and that's your basic structure of this top it must be um like a button at the back or, or something a zip like, or, or a zip, something, something yeah. at the back but we'll insert line drawing so you can see in more detail as well but you've got three different sleeve options here so you've got one which is your big bell sleeve with the fitted cuff mm -hmm. that's my favorite probably because yeah. i think it's much more practical for getting in and out of coats and things like that <laughs> and then you've got a and b which are your more flouncy sleeves at the bottom but i like the fact that you've got the different options of the band so it kind yeah. of brings it in and then you, it all comes out from there so i yeah. think that's really interesting it is and it also appears from the line drawings that the actual uh the flounce on the sleeve is actually pleated um it okay. looks like it's got some 
some deep pleats on it wow. um, that kind of match the pleats on the neck. So that's not mm. something we've seen in any of the other sleeve varieties, which no. is why we wanted to include it. Now we know there's lots of similar blouse type patterns there, but mm. there are very subtle differences that mm. will be the difference between you loving it or it not being for you. Exactly. We're really going to struggle to choose between them all, mm. um, but more so than anything else, the thing that we've noticed most that we're seeing in the shops now is all of these blouses, very much 70s, 80s inspired blouses. Yeah. Um, and the great thing about them is that it's a blank canvas for you to be able mm -hmm. to create whatever you want. There are so many beautiful blouse fabrics out there mm -hmm. um, that you could go plain, you could go for one of the dark florals, you could do everything from polka dots to animal print to anything that you yeah. fancy and you'd be able to create a really unique mm -hmm. blouse that's very Absolutely. special to you. So. But there's, there's so many of them and that's why we've included so many different options. But hopefully you'll find one or two or maybe three, yes. maybe four that you like. <laughs> <laughs> we know we love them all so yeah. uh, hopefully you find that inspirational for your yes. sewing and if you have a favorite then pop it in the comments Ooh. below so that we can see where, where everybody's landing <laughs> so what's what's proving to be the most popular <laughs> so we'll be back with our next one so tune in for another video and we've still got we've got coats and trousers and skirts and more stuff to come yeah. so we'll see you then bye, bye.